Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another edition of Ever Eden Tarot. I am Eden, and I'm so happy that you're joining me here today for a really fun reading. Uh, this one is more aimed towards my single friends out there, um, but if you just want to watch it anyway, go for it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Everybody who is like a pro YouTuber, like I'm like scroll here. But if you can see yourself, like how do you not play with your hair the whole time? Anyway, um, we are figuring out like what is next in love? What kind of love is coming towards you? If there's a specific person, kind of what's the result? If there's any longevity to it, is it just a fling? Uh, we will dive right in and get the juice. And if there's any details about said person, Maybe I can bring them to light. <laughs> um, or if there's a specific person that you already have in mind, maybe it can provide some confirmation. Who knows? So you know the drill. Um, da I will put in a snapshot of the piles. You'll pick a pile based on your intuition, not your eyesight. Just kind of meditate on it. Do it however you do it. There is no wrong way. I know people get really confused like, how do I pick the right one? How do I do this? How do I do that? I don't think there's a wrong way. Just like, I mean, I look over them and then one like kind of tingles and I'm like, yep. That's the one. <laughs> but I don't know if everybody gets that same feeling or how you do it. If you do like pick in a different way, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know how everybody selects their own piles. Um, but I will pop in this picture of the piles or a little video of the piles. Then you can select one. And then you go down to the description. The timestamp that matches your pile will be there and or into the comment section. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it on this journey. And thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you at your pile. All right, hello, group number one. If you chose the first piece of tiger's eye here and set of cards number one, then this is the reading for you. This is what's next in love. That's what we are exploring today. I'm going to start off with your kind of current situation and energy just so you can confirm um, that this is the pile for you. If these first three cards don't resonate with you, maybe go back and select another pile um, or hang in there. There might be something for you. It just might not be um, within this first kind of energy check-in. I do want to make a little bit of a disclaimer here. I know in the intro, it's all like, ooh, fun, exciting. Um, what's next in love? Then when I sat down kind of with your energy, um, I, it kind of hit me like a reality check. Like it's not that I'm inauthentic in those intros or anything like that. That's just the energy that I, I think should come through with a reading like this. And then I get a bit of a reality check when I do, um, get some deeper messages. And that's what I have coming, um, through for you guys here today. Uh, your energy was definitely very different than the intro energy. So I just wanted to kind of put a little, I don't want to like a trigger warning, um, but just, you know, it, it's not all fluff and sparkle <laughs> kind of thing. There's probably some really deep messages for some people in here. So let's dive right in. Also a good wake up call for me. <laughs> all right. So your first card is the universe. Your next card is the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Um, and then your next card is the Hermit. Okay. So what I am getting for a lot of you here is you have like taken a step back from probably love, from dating, um, probably drowning yourself in work a bit. Uh, you know what? A lot of you probably have created this vision with the Seven of Swords here that fooled yourself a little bit. Um, perhaps you were in a different long-term relationship or perhaps you're just coming out of something um, that that has challenged you and you had this idea of what love should look like, what your love life should look like, probably like this, this fantasy, um, what partnership is, probably conditioned within you from when you were maybe even a, a child of what a healthy relationship should be and everything like that. And you have decided in the past probably few months or it may, however that relates to you, could be years, <laughs> could be months, could be days, um, that you needed to take a bit of a step back and see what your vision looked like for you, what your vision and love looked like for you, not what TV tells you, not what your parents tell you, not what your family tells you, not what your friends tell you, 
what you want from love, what you want from a partner, what you see in your future as your, you know, next thing in love and what you want from your next step in and of itself. Um, I'm getting a lot of you aren't looking for practice is what's coming through here. Um, you're, you are looking for the real deal. You are looking for a serious thing. You do take this very seriously, but in that it takes time. It takes time. It takes time. You have to step back. You have to reflect. You have to grow. You have to learn. Um, and you're aware of that and you've become probably a bit more enlightened to that, um, in, you know, the past six months or so, I would say, and you've really been working on yourself and where you need to go and what you truly want from a relationship and what that means in life for a lot of you. Like, what does that mean? Does it mean, you know, growing old with somebody? Does it mean this wild, whimsical, fanciful love? Or does it mean creating a life, right? Um, Because they're very different things and people come into our lives for different reason. And with this whole kind of trickster energy, this sneaky energy of the seven of swords, you know, you, you may have been infatuated with the idea of love in the past. And now you, you know, you want that love to merge into life. Like what does the life look like? Um, because you may have struggled with that in the past as well. You may have dated people and you're like, well, this love is unlike any other and blah, 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 blah. But you couldn't actually get them to fit into your life, into your path, into where you want to go. And you perhaps though, maybe even had great loss in there. But now as you sit back and reflect on that, you understand that it was never meant for you because it would never have been enough. And that, you know, some people have left your life willingly and maybe even unwillingly. Um, And you thought that was tragic at the time, but now when you sit back and you reflect and you think, you know, of what you want your life to be and where you want to go and who you want in it, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense that they were removed from your life. You know, it makes a lot of sense that in some cases they were like removed for you to clear the path for more because it never would have been enough. It would have never would have been your big picture. It never would have been everything that you want to achieve for your soul's worth in your love life. Okay, let's keep going here. And let's actually kind of dive into the what's next part of this. Um, Let's separate from you a little bit. Okay, so we have no place like home. Then we have exchanging gifts. And then we have orphaned. Yes, okay, so orphaned under this hermit energy is also very interesting again. um, What I'm getting about what's next in love is you, you will perhaps already know a person. Um, that you're taking your time to understand whether uh, they fit into your life or not. Um, but they do, they feel like home. And if you uh, if you don't know a person already, but a lot of you do, um, you will meet a person very soon is what I'm getting that feels like home. And look for that feeling Spirit is saying. There's just something that you can't explain. Um, and that's a bit contradictory to what I just said. Um, I do understand that about the whole people fitting into your life versus just being like in love with them. Um, but you know, I I think there's a message there for you of also like just trusting your intuition and trusting your gut as opposed to kind of like the checklist as well. Because you do want feelings, right? You don't just want a checklist of a person. You you want feelings and you want emotions and you want that sense of security and stability. Um, There's also getting that this person like will be financially abundant and share the same ideas of success as you and want to build the same things together. I'm getting that a lot of you, if you know this person already or if you have a person in mind um, you'd be questioning what they want from life and whether um, perhaps you have enough to give or they have enough to give you or like vice versa back and forth Um, you know perhaps you've been through a lot of things already you know are are they ready for that Um, and these like questioning this and putting expectations on a person and making decisions for them before you know the actual answers like is only going to get you further away from home it's not going to get you closer to home um so just kind of go with your feeling go with the feels like home i'm getting like really just this resonation of a soulmate energy it may have to do a geographical location too perhaps you're in different places but like this person is like 
at your home. That's kind of, that, that would be very niche for some people or in a place that you would like to consider home. Maybe they're in, in a city that you would like to be in. Um, and, and all of these are getting a really coincidental relationship coming in. Like, oh, you like this? I like this. Oh, tomatoes are my favorite. Who says tomatoes are their favorite? I thought I was the only person who said that. Just kind of those weird nuances and different things like that that are, are really um, reassuring, you know? And then with this exchanging gifts, uh, this person is definitely very abundant. Their love language may be gifts and you might like to receive gifts and that kind of could just always work out. Um, but what also I'm getting from exchanging gifts is this balance, right? Um, this person who is coming into your life or who you know already, a lot of you know a person already and you've been doing the work. You're like kind of the one holding back here. <laughs> You're the one holding back is what I'm getting for some of you, not for all of you. But um, there's just a balance and this balance, I'm getting this is all so unknown until you explore it, until you actually try it. Um, and where you're not good at something, they'll be good at something. And where you're both not good at something, you'll both want to say, say, okay, let's go to an example. So say it's the future and you guys move down the line and you move in together or something like this and you're in your new home. There's no place like home. Um, and neither of you like to clean. You will both be super on board for getting someone to help with the housework or something like that. You know, it's it's going to be a lot of a, a understanding of limitations and knowing what you want from life, but also like balancing each other out and finding solutions um, with this person. And a lot of you, I've, goodness, I can't say it enough. Just know this person. Um, and with this orphan card here, I'm getting a lot of you have felt left behind in relationships before. Like I... I a, there's a deep sense of um, like like past heartache, past betrayal, and different things like that in this reading. But it's also like it's, it has grown like such strength, right? And probably even some childhood traumas and ideologies that you tried to live up to that you had to kind of just flip on their head and move forward and um, and move beyond what you had to leave behind. A lot of you had to leave behind. Um, something and I'm getting like just don't worry don't don't worry like uh, this orphaned energy just because you leave something behind doesn't doesn't mean it's over and doesn't mean it's orphaned in kind of a way this is contradicted like I feel like this probably should be reversed but I don't read reversals like that's the energy I'm getting from it um so let's what's an example I can think of here I'm not the best at these examples for today it's just I have this sense of knowing in this reading right now that is really hard to describe um so it's like when say so say you broke up with somebody and you had like a dog and you're all concerned about the dog and the dog this and the dog that and like the dog's happier than ever the dog gets more treats the dog has two homes and you have like this great joint custody of the dog and the dog is you know you are all concerned about the feeling of abandonment of this dog or project or whatever it may be um when really moving on has brought a lot of of light and joy to yourself so that you could be more of a mentor than a martyr and staying in situations where um, you're not valued and you're, you don't see your future and you know you don't get to be the visionary that you are and that you excel to be and then and put in the work that you're doing um, staying in situations like that make you more a of a martyr than a mentor right and you want to lead by example you know you want to be that mentor is what I'm getting Okay, let's keep going with the oracle cards here. <laughs> All right, next we have release. Yeah. And then we have mysticism. Okay, so on your side here, I'm getting this big energy of release, especially with this hermit and this orphan, like something something has to go, something has to go. And this new connection almost makes you realize that something has to go. It makes you realize that perhaps you're tied onto something in the past. For some of you, this may be your independence as well. You may like think, oh, I've created this life and I've decided where my things go in the closet here. And like, how could I ever change? And and it, it's just releasing almost like those thought patterns and those things like that. And meeting this person, if you haven't already, or leaning into this connection, if you already have this person in mind, is really 
really going to help you move forward and release these thoughts and these different things that you have in your life. And that's how you're going to know this person. I mean, I can't sit here and give you like physical traits right now because that's not coming through other than like some geographical things. Um, but it's going to be a sense of wanting to change things, wanting to make things better, wanting to progress, wanting to, you know, when you meet, you're going to meet this person and, and this is what's next in love. It's going to make you want to do the things that you've almost been putting off that you know you need to do. And you know that you need to like get your house in order and you know you need to take care of and you know you need to bring forward. Um, and it's just going to be this divine connection. And that's why that's why it's going to almost get you in alignment is what I'm saying that this that this next love that this next thing is coming through to, for you. Um, I'm getting just hang with me, guys. This is pretty deep, but we'll we'll get into the actual advice and the juice <laughs> pretty soon. But this is the message that, that's really meant for you guys right now. Um, and it's going to be because of this divine union and this divine alignment and these synchronicities that you almost can't explain with this person. I would love to try to describe this person more, but I'm really getting, I, I can't describe them physically. I need to describe them in the way that they make you feel and the way that you resonate with the situation and the way you resonate with them. Okay. And then we have the deer, which is trust. Yes. Okay. So the no place like home and then the orphan and the release. And there's almost like a divinity to it, a divinity that to kind of just like lean in and trust that you are going in the right direction. Um, and this connection, this connection and love that is coming in for you, I'm getting is like almost going to be too easy that you're going to want to test it, right? You're like, I, I don't deserve this or this can't be like he or she cannot be this perfect or it can't be this amazing and almost just like this distrust for the situation and for what you deserve, but I'm getting like, <laughs> just trust it. It's okay. It's okay to lean in. It's okay to, to trust the connection. It's okay to trust the person. It's okay to be a little bit curious and naive a little bit naive it's okay it's it's not an immaturity to be a bit naive and and to to give over some power and some control I'm getting for a lot of you in this situation just wanting to have control over how every outcome will be but when there's other people involved when there's other people involved we can't control really every aspect of it and then the goal of a relationship and the goal of being in love is to have somebody else involved so how are you supposed to control every element of it unless you just kind of lean in and trust that you know everybody's here doing the best that they can with what they have and they have good intentions um because a lot of you may have been very hurt in the past is what i'm getting and maybe by not the best intentions or by kind of leaning in but now you're like well that wasn't truly leaning in that was more leaning into what I thought society wanted from me as opposed to what I want from love and where I'm going and then we have the lion honor yeah honor your soul and celebrate its journey what I'm getting with this honor card too is this person coming into your life is just maybe very protective very stoic um, very, they, they want to take care of things. I'm like a really pristine person. Um, and you may only see them superficially right now. Like you may only see the person that they want to share with the rest of the world right now. But as you get to know them, you'll understand that their honor is deep. They are real. They are not like a robot. They don't always say the right things and they don't always have the right answers and stuff like that, which you may see them in that light right now. You may see them or when you get to first get to know them, you may think like, well, this is too picture perfect and there's just too much going, you know, like this, this person is just this savior sent from, I don't even know. <laughs> and they're here, you know, to come through and to, and to teach me all of these lessons. Like, what do I have to offer them? Um, they can't be this perfect. It has to break. But what you realize is, no, they may not be like this perfect person on paper. Like, like they are like, that's what they show to the world. But like when you get them behind closed doors, like they're just even better. Like they're funnier. They're cuter. They have more better sense of humor. When they open Open up their stories are even you know deeper and, and, and more real right it's not all a facade it's just they may be very private and I'm getting with the hermit card here too and and this 
and this seven of swords, you may be very private about your love life as well too. So it's difficult for you to put yourself out there. And I'm getting that this person probably has like, they have a boldness about them, but they also have a privacy about them. So people may see them and people may know them and they may appear, but people don't truly know them. That's who this person is. People don't truly know them. And you're going to have that opportunity because you are like home. So you are going to get to know them and they're going to have that opportunity with you because I'm getting kind of, you both fall into that category, very different people, but um, kind of very private people who want, you know, the same type of integrity movements from life. All right. So your next card is faith. Very interesting. Really leans into what we're talking about. And then we have fear. Yes. Okay. So definitely with this darker energy over here with this orphan card and with this um, seven of swords, it just shows like probably a lot of fear about the next steps, a lot of fear about who you let into your life, a lot of fear um, about who gets to get to know you, which is, which is fine. Maybe not like fear, but a lot of protectiveness around that, um, about walking into the unknown and trusting somebody else with your heart, with your dreams, with your success with what you want from life and and sharing that and and you know the fears that that comes along with like well what if I'm not everything that they think I am you know um I look like this in public and I appear to be this but like what I get what I'm getting is just have faith that this person that this person understands that that this person honestly knows pretty much exactly what you're going through and may feel exactly the same way and just have faith that you know, what is there's like a saying, like the cracks and the light shine through kind of thing that I'm getting with this brick and with this fate, with all these dots, like that they're going to enjoy your flaws and your stories and your quirkiness. A lot of you, there's like a lot of quirk. There's like, you're like, well, I'm different. Well, I'm a little weird. I think everybody thinks I'm just this perfect you know, angel and do this and do that, but I'm actually like a little weird and I'm a little different and like, will they appreciate that and blah, 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 blah. And like, you're creating a lot of stories before anything starts and spirits like, just stop. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. So your next card is the two of cups. Let me just get four out here and then we'll see where it goes. And then we have the hermit again. Okay. Two hermits. Let's, that's some confirmation here that you're doing the self work guys. Um, then the two of wands and the king of swords. Okay. A lot of you are, if you already know this person, you're waiting for them to make a move because you're still in this energy of doing the work. Um, but it, it might not be the right time right now is what I'm getting. So what's like, what is next in love is like the timing will come. Um, and the clarity will come on this situation. And I'm seeing like this just great union, even if you haven't met this person yet, but like whoever ends up resonating with this pile, like this great union and just like stay the course is what spirit's saying. Like stay the course with all the inner self work you're doing with reframing relationships and reframing love and how they work in your life and stay the course because great things are going to come, but you're going to have to be flexible. Some of you may be moving, changing jobs, doing different things like that, honestly, to make this work. This is taking time. What's next in love isn't urgent. It's not like tomorrow you're going to get engaged to this person kind of thing. Um, it's going to take some time, some difficult decisions and some big steps because I just need to let you know like that what is next in love for you is not small. It, it's not like a summer fling romance, let's have some fun, um, which, which is some people might want, which is great. Um, but what what's next in love for you is big. It has like this, this king of swords energy, right? It's big communication. It's big commitment. It's big thoughts. It's, you know, this creator energy of bringing almost like, I don't want to say like a vision, but like a plan to life. Yeah. So if you had ever thought about this very strategically about the plan that you wanted, um, you and this person may end up being business partners as well. If that was important to you, that is coming through for somebody out there. Um, but honestly, spirit is really just telling you to like stay this course of self-development and reflecting on how you feel about love and what you want love to be, because this is a divine union coming in for you. This is like a really big vision. Um, and then also stay very flexible about how you get there because there are going to be some changes, but you're going to be very open to them because after you take this time, and you create this vision, you kind of start to understand like that this is where I want to go, but I'm flexible about how I get there. 
um, and is just kind of like as long as it's with this other person, right? <laughs> um, or perhaps the other person needs to move or it's just, it's something. It, there's something about this that it has big changes because it's big love and because it's real. What's coming next in love for you is very, very real. All right. And then the next card is the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, Spirit sees how hard you're working and the work you're doing for yourself, for your independence. And like stay in that flow. Keep going. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself distracted. Keep yourself working. Keep yourself um, setting goals and reaching new goals and, you know, trying to figure out other things in your life. And, and this will come along too. You know, don't forget about yourself in this. A lot of you need to start um, creating something... Honestly, what I'm getting is a little less physical. So like even if there's like some moving or someone else moving involved, like it almost like an independence of something you can do from anywhere. That's really specific for somebody. Um, but if you need to like alter your job or alter your situation or, you know, to get in alignment with this great love that you are straight up manifesting here, um, a lot of you need to perhaps change I'm not saying like what you do, but how you work, which is that's that hopefully is that lands with somebody. Please let me know. <laughs> and next we have the sun. Yes, because with all of this work and all of this effort, whether it is for a specific person or whether it is to welcome this next great love into your life, you are doing it for a reason, which is all sunshine, all victory, um, you know, all pointing ahead to get to where you want to go, which will happen. Spirit wants you to know, yes. Oh my goodness. Look, two cards of horses just like like riding forward, it's like this child is becoming this woman. This woman is victorious on her horse um, after learning all she needs to do and like almost like this innocence and growing and then becoming the victor with the six of wands here and having her celebration. So interesting. I love it when the cards do things like that for me. And your bottom deck energy, of course, I can't even believe it, but it is the 10 of cups. <laughs> so you will get your emotional fulfillment. You will get your happily ever after. And this is all leading in the right direction. What, what is next in love for you is, is big and real is what I can say. It is big. It is real. It is, it is your next step. It is your next step. It is your next big adventure. It is kind of everything that you want to leave behind and wanted to move forward to and getting clarity on that as well. Okay, thank you so much, group number one, for tuning in. Please let me know in the comment section if this resonated. It was a bit long-winded, and I took you on a bit of a whirlwind, so if you made it through this far, I greatly appreciate it. Um, please subscribe as I try to get to 1,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate that. Um, and hit the like button because it just helps out a lot. Thanks so much. Bye. All right, hello, my wild, whimsical, and wonderful group number twos if you chose this tiger's eye and set of cards number two then this is the reading for you okay today we are diving into what is next in love these first three cards though um will represent a bit about you just so you know that you have the right pile and kind of your current outlook or situation on love however it comes through um <laughs> some exciting energy here to here today pile one was pretty deep it, it was more of like a mellow energy you guys are you have a little bit more fun a little more more play in this one so let's see what the cards have to say we have the nine of swords I mean that doesn't seem like fun and play but we <laughs> we'll keep going with it but no I get it I get it okay and then we have the eight of cups interesting and then we have the king of wands all right so group number two instantly right off the bat for you guys I am just getting this sense of almost decisiveness of this vision of where you're going, of what you want. Um, my group number ones, they were like trying to get clear on that, but you got, you guys just know it. You guys have this fun and decisive energy um, that is almost like you will leave anything that just, if it doesn't fit, you'll leave it behind. You're okay with that. You're like on to the next one. I'm not letting this keep me up all night. Like I'm not going to let this keep me up at night. I'm not going to let this ruin my dreams. I'm not going to let this get in my way. Your negative attitude. I don't want anything to do with it. You know, I've got a vision. I'm going places. You're either coming with me or you're not. You're going to get left behind and I'm going to leave you behind. <laughs> it's a very, very strong 
strong, powerful people group number two. It's quite interesting. Um, and that's kind of, uh, so that has probably been your outlook like on life and different things that you've done and different goals that you have achieved. But now it's a bit of your outlook on love. You're like, okay, you're not keeping up, then I'm moving on without you. <laughs> and I'm going to find the person that can keep up, that does want all the things I want, that does want to do all the things um, that I think that great love should be and does want to work on this relationship and is ready to move forward and, you know, can run this marathon with me. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, and no, honestly, and so much self-worth and so much decisive energy that it's, you honestly don't feel too bad about it. I mean, evidently, if if you are leaving things behind you that are are longer relationships and that that is a difficult decision so i don't want to diminish that um but you just have no fear over it anymore a keyword there anymore just came through um that came through strong you don't have any fear over it anymore like you're ready to to move onward to move up upward to like not let things just take control of you and keep you up at night like you're just kind of you're not on like over it defeat it you're over it like energized you're over it like king of wands over it you're over it like I've got a big vision a big dream and these little things that are around me and if they don't fit in with that then I'm gonna leave them behind and I'm gonna go get what I want and take on the world and find the love of my life and create an empire and I've got big visions big dreams and I don't want anybody to ruin my dreams <laughs> is what I'm getting with this nine of swords I don't want to settle right this isn't settling energy there is no settling energy in my group number twos they are they are oh just I don't even know formidable you guys are a formidable in the good way a formidable opponent I wouldn't want to take you on oh my goodness <laughs> I'm pretty formidable maybe this is my file <laughs> Uh, and then the next card we have is flexibility. Yeah, so there's something coming for you, but it's not going to look exactly like you thought it would look, but it's like even better. And the more flexible you stay about whatever this next relationship is, we'll dive more into that as we keep going, um, the better it will be be I'm getting you know because you're creating this vision and seeing where you want to go and then they may have this vision which may even enhance your vision which may like grow it and make it better and make you want to do more and make you want to do different things and inspire you in a way but just by being flexible just by understanding that the future could look a little bit different than you thought it could look but you're still going to get to where you want to go and then we have clean it up yeah so a lot of you need um to make a few steps to get your house in order, but also what I'm getting is like the, whoever this is, there's definitely someone coming through here and they're not a fixer upper and you don't want a fixer upper. You may have had a fixer upper in the past. Um, you don't want that. You want someone to come to you whole and complete and ready because your house is in order. You're getting your house in order. Everything you have is ready. You're whole, complete and ready. Um, so you're, you want someone to come through to clean. Like you don't want somebody you have to fix up to clean it up. Um, you want somebody who has done the work. I mean, why say you want somebody? This is quite interesting. I'm not like... I'm not saying like you're getting somebody like maybe you're like creating this. Maybe you're like manifesting this person into your life. Like you want this person because they have it all together and they have it in order. And then with Treasure Island, it's like I keep getting you want, you want, you want, you want. A lot of you are like literally creating a relationship or creating a person or creating a situation that is exactly what you want um, and you're leaving things behind so that you can go get what you want right now um, but you're you want like abundance you want fantasy you want fun I'm getting like um, this is really funny but it's like retirement energy it's like I just want to settle down and travel the world and live my best life and be in love and I'm tired of fighting for everything and I'm tired of you know that being an issue I'm tired of me wanting to have like a good time and a good life and have great things in my life being an issue like why is that an issue group two that's how you guys feel why is that an issue I understand I get that I don't think that's an issue whatsoever um there's a lot of sweetness coming in a lot of fun a lot of adventure um <laughs> definitely a lot of romance if you're looking for that as well if your love life has been a bit stale a bit mundane a bit boring um and you're manifesting a lot of romance a lot of fun a lot of like sweet adventures and escapes that is what is coming in for you for love it's gonna be fun it's a fun energy i'm gonna like giggly and butterflies 
<laughs> okay, then your next card is trust. Yes, yeah, so with this flexibility and this trust card side by side over here, I think it's very interesting to stay in that space of like if it does appear a little different, like if the person doesn't look exactly like you're trying to manifest or they don't, you know, there, there's somebody perhaps I'm getting for a lot of you like that you've never saw yourself with. And this person's going to come in and like just kind of blow your mind <laughs> in a way and like make you see things in, in new lights. But your flexibility and your trust is what's really going to like let this opportunity appear. Because if you didn't trust and if you weren't flexible, then this opportunity would miss you. But when you kind of just like lean in and create space for this opportunity to come in and, and just understand that this might be a little different than you ever thought it was, but it's going to be better than you ever imagined. And then the next card we have is sweetness. This person is going to be so sweet, so romantic, even if they don't appear it on the surface. Like this person is curious and they love love and they're just going to have this sweetness about them. This is the type of person that, you know, shows up and does romantic things. They're creative. This is a very creative energy. There's a very creative person person coming into your life into your romance if you if you have a specific person in mind and this is who that sounds like and then this is just confirmation that they have a crush on you too <laughs> they like you and you're like I never thought I would like somebody like that why am I into this um you know I I never wanted somebody who posted things on Instagram and I hated that about people. And now this person who does that is actually like blowing my mind <laughs> and, and things like that. And, and you're just like, why? Why did this sweet little angel have to come and prove that I am wrong, that, <laughs> that I was wrong, that I was maybe a little judgmental and that I haven't been open and flexible and haven't just kind of trusted gut instincts and, you know, that all of this stuff that I've been manifesting that I've been so specific about I didn't think will come in this package and now here it is in the in this totally different package than I ever saw myself with and and your mind's just blown like you're not mad about it that's for sure you're not mad about it because the sweetness and the kindness and the fun and the light like it just brings you alive this person is just bringing you alive waking you up with your powerful energy your power and their sweetness oh it's so cute yeah, <laughs> sweetness. And then we have like a little picture of lemonade here. Um, prayer. So like, you know, we're, we're praying for some uh, lemonade from this lemons and we're like almost creating it. This is more of that creator energy, whether it is prayer, whether it is manifestation, whether it is, you know, creating this in, in your mind and getting aligned with the energy of what you want in your life and what you want this to be like, that is what you're doing. Spirit wants, you know, and this person is like, doing that for you as well, right? So there's a person out there manifesting you and you're manifesting this person and like it's all coming into alignment. Just stay trustworthy and stay flexible, you know, still trust in the situation and trust in the power of prayer or manifestation that you are creating great things and great things are going to happen to you next in your love life that are sweet and romantic and fun and exploratory um, and just will help you see the world in a new curious light. Um, I didn't go through the numbers here. We do have 19, 21, and 9 if they resonate with you as well. And then next we have confusion. Okay, with the confusion card though, <laughs> that's what it is. I got it, especially, yeah, okay. Ooh, you have options. And you got to stay flexible because the most obvious option isn't going to be like the one you choose and you're going to surprise yourself. There it is. Oh, group number two, you have options coming to you in love. You have options, options, options. And you may have one, you may have like two people, three people. You may have like an abundance of people. I'm um, just coming forward with you in this romantic energy because you have just let all of this crap go in the past. Sorry. Um, and you're moving forward. And so you're going to have a bit of confusion. You're going to be like, how do I know? How do I trust? How do I stay flexible? Like, who is it? And Spirit wants you to know, just like, like, look for this whimsy. Look for this person that you just, like, never thought would be, like, physically the person, but who is checking all of the boxes, like, emotionally and exploratory and, you know, to try to get through that confusion because when those options come in, it can be very difficult. It can be very difficult to, like, sift through the options and, like, make the right choice and know who to spend your time with. I think that is the most difficult part about, like, being single and dating is, like, you know, by investing all of 
this time and the right person, but prayer and trust and just like lean into what like feels good and stay flexible about who this person is um, to get what you actually want to get to know the person is what I'm getting to um, a lot of confusion though a lot of options interesting and next we have the tiger divine timing good things come to those who wait yeah you're testing the waters here that's next in love you're dating right and you're dating like probably a few people and you're playing it like you know it's hot it's cold it's on it's off you're in you're out next on to the next one. Oh, this is kind of interesting i want to stay here for a bit um like stay the course keep going because good things come to those like who wait i'm not saying like wait around for somebody to like come knock on your door um but with all of these options coming through here like the, the, there is one person that is going to stand out to you if they don't already. Um, and maybe, maybe even though you're playing the field, maybe even though you have all of these options, like that person has not come forward to you yet, or you're waiting for them to come to you and you're trying to manifest this, or you're like waiting for a sign and you're praying for a sign because this person isn't exactly like you would have described your perfect person, <laughs> but they're actually everything all at the same time. And, and, but it's taking longer. So like good things come to those away. Maybe that's what the flexibility message was here too it's like stay flexible like don't worry it'll happen like keep going stay in this loving energy and keep having fun but like trust us trust us that the right one will come through trust us that that person will come around trust us you know that all of this is happening for a reason and then we have this sea turtle conservation make conscious choices yes Yes, 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 yes. So there will become a time pretty soon in your live life where you're going to get tired of all of this crazy, romantic, awesome dating around whatever. And you're going to realize like, I just want to save this energy for this right person, this one person that is really standing out to me that is going to just come out. And I'm getting like, this is a, a consistent person. This person will be so consistent. They'll always like be there and then like maybe you'll have other little whirlwinds but this person will like just kind of slowly reveal themselves to you maybe you don't meet them dating like you're dating everybody else right maybe you don't meet them like like that maybe you meet them through work or through a friendship circle or through different things um and then they kind of just, you know make conscious choices about like how you spend your energy on these other people because you might like get a little burnt out from it you might get a little tired of it uh it's a lot of fun you're still having fun don't worry um but your guides want you know like like save this special stuff for this person and when you know it and when you see it and then like I'm getting like this person may take a little more time and then what's coming next for you in love is pretty clear here. It's a lot of choices. It's a lot of options. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of moving forward, onward, upward. It's getting in your groove. It's getting your groove back. It is playing the field. It is getting out there. Um, but I'm also getting like a bit of a long-term message here that there is somebody out there for you and they are going to look a little different than you ever thought and they're going to take a little bit more time and make sure you save energy to put into that relationship. Um, even if that relationship isn't ready to manifest into something romantic right now because everything is divine timing, everything happens at the right time for the right reasons, um, do save effort, energy, and time and space to welcome that person in and, and you'll kind of like know it. You'll know it is what I'm getting. You'll you'll just have like a soft spot for this person no matter how they enter your life or what their intentions are. Okay, let's dive into the tarot here to see what advice we have from spirit. All right, first card's the magician. Duh, couldn't even think of a more fitting card for this reading. And then we have justice. Mm -hmm, you're going to make the choice. Don't worry about it. And then we have the seven of pentacles. And then we have the ace of swords. So interesting. Okay, so your advice from spirit here is to continue manifesting what you want. Continue about thinking about what you want, creating what you want, and staying true to what you want. No matter the seeds you're planting and the fun you're having and the new like little conversations you're having or the dating that you're doing, still remain very clear about what you want. Because the time will come, the time will come and you'll be able to make that decision. You will know with certainty and clarity that what you want has found its way to you, that this person, um, that this divine feminine or masculine, some of you get like almost a divine feminine energy, like this person wants you to come to them. Um, but 
anyway, <laughs> um, you will, it'll just all appear so clear. It's honestly, the more you're going to like date other people or think about other people or try to get to know anybody else, the more clear it's going to be that these seeds that you have planted, that this idea that you have created um, and this person in your head is like even getting closer and closer to coming to fruition. Like you're like, there is nobody else like this out there. There is this person. I didn't even think I liked them. I didn't even want them in my life. And now they're here and I've grown this so big and they won't go away. And I'm feeling a lot of you. Uh, and I know this isn't what you want to hear, but a lot of you are just going to feel compelled to make the offer to this person to be like you know what I've I've dated all of these people and I've done all of these things and I've had all of this excitement the world's opening back up and all I can think about is you and I want you and I want this to move forward and I've made my decision and it's clear and I'm going in this direction all right let's see what else spirit wants to say here yeah okay the six of swords the Seven of Swords Oop. and the Page of Cups. Yeah, so a lot of you are probably very certain in your decisions, but maybe not super certain in your emotions. You know, it's like you are the queen or king of swords. You are very decisive, very, you know, strategic, really great planners and stuff like that. But you're coming through almost as the page of cups, right? So it's like, oh, like, what do I, how do I kind of make this little love offer? Like I'm the in this almost like player energy that you're in and you're very comfortable there because it's almost more strategic. But when it actually comes to matters of the heart and admitting what you want and what you like in the decision that you have made when it comes from a vulnerable space, not just this strategic dating, getting out there space, um, you may find it a little bit difficult. Um, you may find it a little bit difficult because you don't exactly trust your own emotions is what I'm getting with this with the seven of swords here. You don't typically trust your own gut feelings in this and then there's such a divinity to this person that they don't perhaps look exactly like you would think or they don't do the exact job that you thought you would end up with a person um, doing or anything like that but somehow they make sense and somehow like you want to move forward with them and what they have um, and it scares you a little it's going to make you feel young and it's going to make you know but at the same time, your bottom deck energy here is the chariot. So it makes you want to step up, though. You know, it makes you want to become like this emotional master. This is the person that almost challenges you in a way without trying to challenge you by just being there for you, right? This person comes into your life and you're dating around and, and just their presence makes you want to be a better person, makes you want to be a stronger leader, makes you want to Oh, just this step up energy. Like this person is probably also manifesting you at the same time. So that's why like they're pulling you towards them and and you're trying to manifest them into your life. And, you know, we're just like manifesting back and forth. But there there's something about this person that makes you want to take action, that makes you want to make a decision. Um, so whether you are in another fling or anything like that, this this person and the certainty and the value that you place there's a value to this per exactly the value that you place on this person makes you want to be a stronger and better person and that is the kind of love that is coming into your life group too. All right, if you made it with me this far, please let me know if it resonated in the comment section. Also, I would really appreciate a like and I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you subscribe, I would love that as well. It's been such an honor to read for you. Thank you as always. I will catch you next time. Bye. All right, hello, my wild, whimsical, and wonderful group number threes. If you chose this tiger's eye right here, and set of cards number three, this is your reading for what is next in love. Very interesting reading. Um, pile one and two, very different. So I cannot wait to see what comes through for my pile threes. Um, group three. 
uh, I will start off describing a bit about you in this situation and your current feelings towards love, just so you know if this reading is going to resonate for kind of confirmation. Um, if it doesn't, feel free to go back and pick another pile or tune in. There may be something for you in this reading, um, even if the first part doesn't quite resonate with you. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else. Okay, so your first card is the Ace of Wands. Your next card is the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Cups. Okay, group number three, you are my lovers. You are my romantics. You are just un, like, I don't want to say unforgivable about that, but like you just know who you are. You know what you want. You know you want love. You believe in love. Um, and you believe in great love and you believe that things will be great for you. Um, not to say that this doesn't come with some issues. You know, you may see your friends um, getting married or getting into relationships or getting engaged or having children thinking, you know, well, like when is my turn? Why isn't that me? Feeling a bit left out in the cold, of course, um, in that situation. But it's because you have such high standards and you have such a great outlook look for what you want in love. Um, a lot of you are ready to leave something behind you. <laughs> uh, if you're at this pile, you probably want to hear about new love. You're like, I am so over everything I've been through. I'm, I have uh, such a romantic. I have these positive outlook. I want to stay positive. I want to move forward and I want to see what is next in my love life. Um, you're also ready for the king of cups like you're tired of like these princes like you want somebody in king energy you want someone mature you want something to move forward with whether it is masculine or feminine um you just really want that master of emotions who is ready for commitment ready to move forward and ready for something bigger ready for something more grand um and you're ready for new opportunity new visions new opportunity and a bit of like i don't want to say like a new life but a new vision for life um and a new romantic vision um um, and you are just definitely my romantics. Like I said, if you were somebody from Sex in the City, you would be like my Charlottes <laughs> for sure. Okay, let's see what other cards we have coming through here for what's next in love. Serendipity, interesting. That's number 18. Uh, then we have Truth Be Told. That's number 14. And then we have a number 24, Time for a Nap. Okay. So what is coming next in love for you? It has a lot of synchronicities, a lot of things that will come into place. Like there's a lot of things you have been called to do, places you have been told to go, jobs you've been told to take and different paths that you have been directed towards and you don't really know why. And maybe sometimes you question it. Um, but what is coming through is that is actually leading you, even if it has nothing to do with love and it, <laughs> it's just some weird path, some weird route that you've decided to take it is actually leading you to great love and what's next is coming is a lot of clarity a lot of truth on that a lot of um understanding I, it could get the energy here this doesn't have to resonate for everybody but there could be somebody you know who you haven't been involved with romantically in the past because um coming forward and like telling you the truth too maybe like a person a very serendipitous person that ended up in your life for some of the reasons i said before um but also that that doesn't have to resonate for everybody it could just be the truth coming to light as to why you ended up where you are doing what you are doing and just almost like this divinity to that almost this whimsy this romance this charm where it's like ah oh, now i finally i get it i get why i was here i get why i decided to do this. I understand why this happened, um, especially with all of the things that were out of our control probably in the past year or so. Um, falling into play almost and almost when you take a step back, you know, and you can relax a little and like, like loosen the grip on it. I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of you want something so bad that you're hanging on to it so tightly that you just you can relax a little as spirit wants you to know. Spirit wants you to know what's coming for you like next in love is like taking it easy almost and relaxing and understanding that like the truth will come to light and love will come and like like there's actually something great coming for you because of all the trust you have put into your intuition the trust you have put into love and the focus you have put into like healing your heart and knowing what you want and creating space for what you want like spirit is telling you like the work is done 
Yeah, the work is done. And what's, what's next is coming is the clarity on that, is the clarity that the work is done, is the clarity and the understanding that everything happened for a reason at a certain time in a specific way. A lot of you might have been through a lot, I'm not going to lie, um, and made a lot of just maybe out there choices for you based on, you know, just whims and gut instincts and, you know, this serendipitous timing and how everything's just going to fall into play you're almost like going to be able to take a step back from your love life and like look at it and watch it all like kind of play out for you because all the work is done is what i'm getting yeah cleanse a lot of you really want to leave something behind which is quite interesting um you will get that opportunity to cleanse it out of your life and move forward um as well with all of this like the timing's perfect is like trust the timing right now is, is really a message that is coming through for you guys. If there is someone or something or some past experience that you really just want to get rid of and release, like kind of take a nap, step back and just trust the timing and have a lot of faith. Um, magic. Yeah, you are just such a magical group, such a whimsical crew, like, and just this belief in love. You're my lovers. Oh, this energy is so pretty. I don't want to leave your energy. It's so... It's like, it's like I know you've been through a lot and I can feel that you've been through a lot and like the world has tried to get you down, tried to leave, leave you out, tried to like almost like kill your hopes and your dreams and things like that, but you just believe, right? Even when you had to take time away from it, even when you're not dating or anything like that, like you just believe in the magic. You believe in the magic of romance, the magic of love, just kind of like the serendipity <laughs> and the whimsy of everything that can happen for you. And, and you're going to be rewarded for that. You really are. That's what's happening next in your love life is you're going to be rewarded for your magic, for your spark and for the ability to move on, cleanse your life and move forward. And like, just for your consistency and staying positive and staying true to the course, like you know, your guides, I'm getting a very guided message for this group, like need you to know that like your consistency and your ability to move forward and your ability, you know, to not let everything that happens around you get you down and your ability to even be happy for other people when they get what you want. Mm, that's a deep one. Your ability to be happy for other people when they get what you want is going to be rewarded. That's a, quite a specific message. Please let me know if that resonates. Um, but a lot of people around you, like I said, maybe getting married, maybe having kids, maybe getting exactly what you wanted getting exactly what you want it but like you've got to believe in the magic and you've got to continue to believe in the magic because there's like something even greater for you because there are lessons that you still need to learn in this serendipitous time there are things that are coming together that are greater and bigger and more powerful than you could even imagine than like kind of that you know checklist of what you want right it, it's going to be bigger and better and it's because you have stayed the course you have accepted the challenge and you have had the ability to walk away from the things that do not serve you okay and destiny yes your next card is destiny which i think just pulls oh my goodness and faith oh my goodness you are such a guided group um you're very guided group three you need to know that your spirit guides want you to know that, that they have a plan for you they are like orchestrating to put somebody in your life so amazing so romantic um everything your wildest dreams have ever taught and they like want you to stay magical and they need you to keep the faith and the, like faith over here by like kind of that take a nap like you've done the work you've put in a lot of work that is being recognized and now you almost like gotta like give it over let it go it's time to let it go and let it come back to you because it you are put on the right path and this is your destiny. And, you know, I what I'm getting is you'll never struggle with a choice. You'll always know exactly what to do and how to leave things behind. And that certainty may have gotten you in trouble in the past. That certainty, like maybe what others who aren't as enlightened or aren't as awake as you would blame on the reason like why you're single or why you haven't met anybody or why you haven't done this or why you haven't done that. Um, but your guides want to let you know that like next in love is like the answer answer like you are getting the answer as to why you were put on this path you are getting the answer as to why you've just been kept being told like to have faith trust the path serendipitous time like all of these weird synchronicities that i'm getting that are, are happening in your life like the clarity will come and it is coming. And that is like almost what's next in love. I wish I had, I know you're probably here. Like I expected you to say like some tall, dark, like I mean, we got the king of cups here. Okay. And, and 
like your course is the king of cups okay and that is what you want you want the king of cups you you don't want any princes or pages or whatever <laughs> you are knights or yeah you want like the emotional master you want that fulfillment you want that romantic person in your love life and that is your path that is your destiny that is your faith um spirit is saying like next in love is just the clarity on all of that because you have been so good at keeping the course you have been so good like at at staying positive at leaving things in the past at like maintaining your magic is what they want you to know like you've been so good at maintaining your magic through all of this through every challenge through every struggle and like the truth will be told like that is the next thing in love like it is all going to become so clear to you all right with the panda here we have balance it says ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart okay interesting and then we have the frog oh, <laughs> you guys might have kissed a lot of frogs but don't worry prince charming is coming well not prince charming king of cups charming <laughs> and then we have stepping into your power don't take the back seat in your story it is time to step up which is kind of interesting because this is over here by like time for a nap and faith and magic like I'm not getting that spirit is saying that you are taking like the backseat in your story. Like I feel like somebody is going to step up and that's why this card appeared. You know, this king of cards is going to step up because they might be tired of taking the backseat in their story. Your story is very written. It's written in faith. It's written in trust. It's written in knowing that you are made for a great relationship and a great love. And, you know, just this like a story you tell like – great grandchildren if you're interested in that about etc like you 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 stepped up you've continued this course you are being rewarded for that and somebody else is kind of being called into your life to recognize that and they're like they're coming they're coming I don't have any clarity on like when but the truth will be told next in love is it's like all going to be revealed all of this stuff you have been through which i'm very curious about so please let me know in the comments um all this stuff that you have been through everything that you have been working on everything that you have been working for every path every step that you have taken that you were just like unsure about but you just like kind of trusted this magic and you just want to move forward and cleanse your life has created this amazing almost balance in your life that you are now in this space where you can welcome love where you can welcome the truth where you can welcome your destiny where you can welcome these things to actually come to light because sometimes we aren't ready sometimes we aren't ready to see it right um and in in this course and in this path that you have taken like you are there your guides want you to know and that is what's coming in next for you. Okay, let's get some advice here in the tarot. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. Yeah, you put in a lot of work. Oh, you poor little heart. And then we have the page of pentacles. You just want to create it. You really do. Oh, this is so sweet. And then we have the death card. This is so sweet. Then we have the death card. <laughs> it's not like that. It's not like that. It's actually one of my favorite cards. And then we have the ten of pentacles. Yes. All right. So your guides like want you to know like that you have done the work. It is time to actually take a break. Now, this is a little bit of confirmation here um, about our take a nap card. But with this nine of pentacles, like you are, your heart's been through it. Your mind's been through it. Your soul's been through it. Like you've physically been through it and reacted to it um, and you have just stayed so innocent and such a creator and know what you want know what you want to create and love and know what you want and and stayed so true to that that you have welcomed endings you have been through a lot of hard endings like I know I've this is a really light energy and a really fun energy and a very loving energy that I just want to sit here and bask in but it's also a lot of reality into this group and into this pile that there have been hard endings there have been hard choices there have been difficult decisions and there have been steps forward that spirit is so proud of you for making um because everything you're doing I'm just getting you're doing it all right guys you're doing it all right you're doing great um is because like this 10 of pentacles is coming this kind of like physical happily ever after because you have such an emotional approach to everything like that you just want it to all physically manifest it and it's coming because of the work that you're doing because of like the innocence and light you keep through these really tough dark times through these struggles through this work and through this work that you have put in 
And then we have, yeah, the Three of Wands here. Interesting. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you've got, you've left a lot behind. And you're just being rewarded for your decide, your ability, your ability to look forward and see another vision, your ability to walk away, your ability to know that you were made for bigger and better and greater and more amazing things and that the truth is coming out, the truth will be told and that you're moving away from chaos and conflict and everything that you know, you have been through. There's a lot of wands energy here. I would like to point that out. So a lot of fire energy and some earth energy as well. Um, but you definitely have been very clear and stayed true to your vision through all of this chaos. And you know that there is something more for you out there. And spirit confirms that. Spirit is saying you are correct. You are right. It is okay to walk away when you needed to. You made all of the right decisions. Do not feel sad about the death. Do not feel sad about the ending because you are so optimistic and there is such a bright future for you. And you're just going to continue growing and growing and growing. And it's quite interesting because you are my romantics. You are my romantic pile, but you're also, and you love love and you love magic and you love the love story and everything like that makes you happy. But it's because of your independence that you can have the security and leaning on that and understanding that that is what you're made for in this life and being able to walk away and being able that because you are strong and you stand on your own. And Spirit wants to know that that is like exactly who you needed to be and where you needed to get before they were about to present to you this opportunity that they are in all of this clarity and that you are on the right path and this is where you needed to get. Okay, group number three, that was quite interesting. Um, if you made it this far, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers right now. And if you see this way later and we already have that, woohoo, we made it. <laughs> um, and I would also appreciate a like. That's a really simple way um, just to boost kind of the algorithm and get this post out there so more people can get the divine guidance that you received here today. It has always been a pleasure and an honor to read for you. I will catch you next time. I can't wait to read for you again. Bye.